Welcome to Bujin, bitch! A celebration of kombucha, cocktails, and all the amazing people within our communities that are doing really cool things that we want you guys to know about. I'm Vanessa Tortolano. And I am Ala Shapiro. We are the co-owners of Nasala Kombucha here in Madison, Wisconsin. And we are going to meet with some fabulous people over our season of episodes. So a lot of people have been asking us, well, how do you incorporate kombucha in with a drink? Um, and how does that work and what do you do about it? So we're here with Jeanette who will be joining us for the entire season. She'll be making awesome craft kombucha cocktails for us. Hi Jeanette. Hello. How are you? Good to meet you. Oh, thank hey. you. Fabulous. So what's in it? What, what, what are we drinking? So this is a, this is called the Dylan Brogan as a matter of fact. Meow, 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 no. Um, kind of. And this is a cocktail with a um, gin base using dust or gin, which is one of my favorite things to use with kombucha because it's floral and it has a lot of really great essences in it. Um, it's amazing. And then also Dolan sweet vermouth, and then Saint Germain, which is another nice, really balanced thing to use with kombucha and also with dust or gin. A little bit of Peixotas bitters, which is a peach bitters, and then oh. oolong kombucha. So Jeanette, do, would you call yourself a mixologist? Um, not really. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I just bartend. I'm a bartender. I have fun. Awesome. I like people. I mean, I have friends that are PhDs in like poop and water, and I have friends <laughs> that are, you know, music. Seriously, like, yeah, you know what I mean? Friends. Musician friends, I have artist friends, I have scientist friends, because all that I've met from passing drinks across the bar. Some of which have become very close to me. Yeah, so. I would imagine that you are probably like, bartender as long as you have you've probably gotten to see so many aspects of different people's lives and like different stages of their lives. It's crazy. The oh, I just got the chills thinking about it. It's so crazy. I mean, I, I bartended 18 months of my life carrying babies in my belly, you know, two separate times. Like, that was rad, you know? And they, they came out and they're like bar rats, you know? <laughs> bar rat children. They're, we're, they're very good children, but you know what I mean? So yeah. I have a question for you as far as mixing drinks. How do you feel? as one of your mediums for making cocktails? I, I really like it a lot because it has its own kind of like thing about it that lends really well to mixing with alcohol. You know, mm -hmm. it has its own natural effervescence. The acidity is really fun to work with because you have to balance that. Like what I'm doing now, like these these liqueurs and the sweet vermouths are really sugary, so this mm -hmm. acidity breaks it down and kind of brings the florals out, you know? dries it out instantly. It's really especially fun too because the extra fun buzz is kombucha. It's kind of, to me, it's like eating sushi. You get a little high off of like the awesomeness that it makes you feel. The yeah. rawness. Yeah. Yeah. The rawness. Yeah, one of the great yeah, things Thank you very much, <laughs> seriously, for making this because it's been, it's really good. Yeah, yeah, one of the great things about using kombucha in cocktails is that it's very low in sugar. Therefore, when you're mixing your cocktails with kombucha, you're not putting all the high fructose corn syrup and, you know, sugary, sugary juices. Also, and, yeah, it also helps with uh, balancing your gut so that you're not getting all that sugar in it, so you have less of a hangover because you're not consuming so much sugar um, with your drinks. This is just from personal experience. These statements have not been approved by the FDA, but we have noticed. Disclaimer. Yeah. Disclaimer that you can drink more without being sloppy. Yeah, you don't get a sloppy yeah. and I'm just like, yeah, I love you. It's like, oh, well, I you love might. you. I do love you. <laughs> so it's not just the booch talking. It's not just the booch talking. It's the booch talking too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now a few words from Bill Chuckers. America's love with the feline has gotten out of hand. Your cat hates you. You may think your cat likes you, but every time he comes over for a little petty poo, it's really just because he wants it. it. Has nothing to do with you. The second you're dead in your house, the first thing the cat will do is eat your eyeballs out. <laughs> so, Jeanette, I have a question for you. Yeah. Do you think of yourself as a community organizer or a like what? What are you? I guess I do organize a bit of community. You sure do. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, so my roommate owns a skate shop in town, and it's called Freedom, and he's awesome, and he is a hype machine, and we joke with each other about being hype machines. 
He's like, yeah, I stoked this dude, and blah, blah, blah. like, get so excited. I'm like, yeah, it's awesome. You know, so the two of us just to, like, get so elevated when we're talking about Yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> we, okay, so at Jenna's, we do these things like, once a month, these benefits for an organization that he has called Skate of the Art. And, um, and what he's doing with that is um, working on installing scalable art sculptures and yeah. stuff like that around the community. Cool. Well, yeah. really awesome thing about the community is that we can do that. It's baby steps, but we're getting there. And I think I think that you really love people. I know I love people. Love I seriously people. do. They're hilarious. You're really, yeah, <laughs> but you're really you're really supportive of what people are doing. You really get involved with like the people that you're passionate about. You really get involved. I'm with. kind of an annoying and cheerleader for people. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. But it's, like, I mean, everybody more, needs need cheerleaders more people because you like get that. like you're the type of person that gets passionate about something and doesn't sit back and be like, oh, well, let's see what happens. Like, you get in there and you do the thing that needs to make it happen. And that's what's really amazing about who you are. Thank you very much. It's great. Whenever you have a cat, your house just smells like piss. So get yourself a ferret, a hedgehog, a dog, some sort of goat. Anything's better than a cat. I'm Bill Chucker saying, no pussy for me. Cheers. <laughs> Until next time, this is Boosh and Bitch, not Nasdaq Yeah.